Yo guys, what's going on? Backpack Gadgets here, bringing you another video, this time about the Evil Portal app on the Flipper Zero. So for this to work, you'll need a Flipper Zero and a Wi-Fi dev board, which you can pick up online at the Flipper Zero store or on eBay or any store online for that matter that sells them. What Evil Portal does is create a fake Wi-Fi access point. So say if you're out and about, you're in Starbucks, Costa, you name it, any coffee shop or uh, cafe. I say, oh look, it's uh, free Wi-Fi. You click on that, put in your email and password like you do in most places, and then you got Wi-Fi. But in this instance, you wouldn't. What would have happened is that the email and password you just entered would have got sent to the person that created this free access point, and you'd get no internet, and your email and password would have got exposed. So I'm going to show you what it looks like, how to get it up and running on the Flipper Zero and how you can um, minimise the risks of falling victim to this when you're out and about, um, where if you're doing university stuff, if you're just um, uh, doing work for you know companies or whatever, if you're in a coffee shop just enjoying yourself, listening to some music and you want Wi-Fi, just be mindful that when you click on a Wi-Fi, if it looks suspicious, it probably is. Um, with the Flipper Zero, this evil portal, um, fake Wi-Fi access point, is pretty basic. A more advanced one that I can show you in the future is with the Wi-Fi pineapple and you literally cannot tell the difference. So just be mindful when you're um, clicking on these sort of apps. So without further ado, let's get into it. What you'll first need to do is connect your Wi-Fi dev board to the Flipper Zero. This has to be flashed as well with a firmware which I can make another video about, but there are a lot of videos on YouTube that explain this uh, process, but I can do that in, the in a future video too. Then you'd go on to apps, GPIO, ESP, and you'd click Evil Portal. Click Start Portal, and as you can see now, the Wi-Fi dev board is flashing blue, so it means it's active and it's starting up a free fake Wi-Fi access port. So I'm gonna leave that aside. So say if I'm in a cafe now, I, I order me coffee, I'm in there, and all right, let's connect to the Wi-Fi. So I'd go ahead, connect to the Wi-Fi. Here we go, free Wi-Fi. So I click free Wi-Fi. And as you'd expect, it would. Uh, you'd think you'd have a pop-up or something, there we go. And as you can see, look how basic this one is. But again, for a generation that doesn't know what, what they're looking for, they just may enter in their email. So I'm going to put in test, uh, test, um, test victim at gmail.com. That's my email for today. And password, I'm going to put password. So now I've entered in my email and password, click next. And oh, nothing's happened. It's just asking me to re-enter it. So again, I may re-enter it, test it, test, uh, victim at gmail.com. And what I'm actually doing now is that I'm re-entering it thinking it didn't work, so I'm going to enter it again. But all you're doing is confirming to that person who's hosting this um, fake Wi-Fi access point that that is the right password. You click again, nothing's happened. So you click out of it and you don't bother, you try and look for, the, for another one that actually works. So what's actually happened now is the person that's hosted this fake Wi-Fi access point, as you can see, has got their email on, on this device. So as you can see, I've entered test at test.victim.gmail.com and the password. So I could go ahead now if I wanted to, which of course I dissuade anybody from doing so, is access that person's email. I've got the password so I could try different, um, you know, I could try social medias, I could try Amazon, all the all the frequent things people use day to day life and it'll give me access to it and potentially passwords, bank details and everything that's connected to that password. So don't fall victim to this guys, it's so dangerous. And like you say here, I've got the password twice in a row because I entered it twice when it didn't work and I can confirm to myself that look, they've entered it the first time it didn't work and the second time and it is the same they've entered there. So that gives me a lot of confidence that that's the password that they use day to day. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that now on the Wi-Fi dev board. I keep this Wi-Fi dev board in a little box uh, just to keep any dust off it. 
So that's it guys, that's the evil portal in a nutshell. How you can avoid um, doing this is um, ask a member of staff when you go in what is the, the Wi-Fi page and they can sort of, because they use it day to day, they could see uh, what's real and what isn't. Um, when you're in, entering a password, maybe do a fake email and a fake password first to see if you actually connect to the internet. Um, and if you do, then at least you know you're online. Use a fake email or just use create an email account and create a password that you do not use day to day. Completely different password and email that you use just for going to like places that you use free Wi-Fi. In that way, you're not using your personal credentials. So that is probably a number one priority. Set up a fake email and a fake password that you don't really use day to day. You just use it for going out and about in that way. If you did fall victim to one of these, they'd have nothing to go off as it as it would lead to nothing, basically. It would just lead to that email that you use. Change your passwords frequently as well. I use um, Keeper, which is a good app. Um, I can do another video on that one. And that basically generates passwords for you and makes it harder for people to um, and apps to crack passwords. And that way, and it gives you a reminder as well to change your passwords. So don't fall victim for this. Use an email that you don't use day to day and is not connected to any um, things online that you do that are important, such as banking apps, shopping apps, um, social medias, etc. And work work IDs. Secondly, ask ask a person within that establishment um, which is the free Wi-Fi page. And if you are suspicious, just ask a question and maybe raise it to a member of staff. Now you've seen this video that I think somebody's. Um, create the fake Wi-Fi access point and you should you need to tell uh, your customers as well um, and thirdly keep keep passwords up to date keep them re change them regularly don't don't keep the same one because they may have a spreadsheet of all these different passwords and they may not have just got down to opening up your one yet so you still may have time to to uh, save yourself and your credentials so change your password because like you say they may have a list of passwords and emails that they've collected from that day and if they're working through them you know yours may be like 10th on the list so if you change your password after you've been to like and if you've used it for like out and about free wi-fi points then they won't have access to it so i hope you found it useful um and a bit educational in a way when you're out and about it's not not what you seem and you can use this um knowledge to your advantage and it just gives you an idea as well with some of the cool things you can do with the Flipper Zero for educational purposes. Um, like you say, you can purchase Flipper Zero online. I think they're like £170. Um, quite expensive. And the Wi-Fi dev board as well, you can pick up relatively cheaper for I think about £40 I got this one for. Um, so that is the evil portal on the Flipper Zero. Um, make sure you like, um, give me a subs subscription as well subscribe if you if you found it good and you want to see some more videos it just encourages me to post a lot more as well and once again thanks for watching um without viewers there'd be no point in uploading these videos so hope you found it useful guys peace out have a good day